Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Well, that's the end of my Spitfire build, the FX148 scale Spitfire Mark 18. And I've got to say, Airfix has scored a winner there. It's a cracking build, great, great kit, great detail, fairly simple to put together. Any mistakes that were made were solely on my part, certainly on Airfixes. Yeah, it's just a really great kit. The only issue that I really had was, as I say throughout the video, uh, the decal for that, that band, the uh, black and yellow band on the nose. I really, really struggled with that. I'd say after about 35, 40 minutes, I gave up and uh, I toyed with the idea of leaving it be, uh, leaving it off, saying, you know, it's the state of the aircraft that it that it was before before the nose band. But really, it's such an um, iconic part of that particular aeroplane. I couldn't really leave it off. So in the end, I did wind up uh, masking, it, masking it off and uh, spraying it using um, Tamiya 2 more vinyl tape for the uh, eight demarcation lines for the, for, the, um, for the actual band and sprayed it yellow first and then black and it turned out I think really very well. Um, yeah, I had problems throughout the build really because of my making. I dropped it twice, broke a wing off and broke off horizontal stab. I, uh, I broke off both cannon barrels and I've lost both of those so I've emailed Airfix. Uh, for replacement so hopefully they'll be here sometime soon so as you see photographs uh, of this of the build at the end of this particular video you'll see that it's missing the cannon and there's a few bits i still want to touch up but i just wanted to get this video out and and, and really say that it's, it's it's finished because otherwise it's going to drag on and on and on um, my next build after the spitfire will be the uh, 148 scale uh, uh, avaranson by ethics it looks like to be another great kit i've seen some builds online and it looks yeah it looks really really good um so i'm looking forward to that i want to do some work obviously on, on my 124 scale typhoon which i'll probably do tomorrow i want to get the uh, cockpit finished at the very least and get the belts finished get the cockpit done um so yeah so that's where i stand with that oh one thing i want to say just before on the spitfire that i've just finished it's a clean airplane there is literally no weathering on it whatsoever um i did toy with uh dirtying her up because I've seen photographs of the real aeroplane and she was quite dirty especially when she had the accident she hit um, another aircraft um, but again if I'd gone down that route it would take me another week to do the weathering so I thought okay for now for this particular build I'll get it to where I am now so where I'm happy um, and just have her as a clean aeroplane so I'll go away and I'll uh, fit on the, um, the cannon shroud one or two little touch-ups and like I say, she'll be in my cabinet now and that's where she'll stay. Well guys, like I say, thank you so much for following me along and um, for your encouragement and support. It's been great. I've, been, I've really enjoyed the experience of doing this on, of putting this out onto uh, YouTube. If you like what you see, please consider liking and, subscri and subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. I'm still a very young channel and I'm still finding my feet, as you probably, as you can probably tell, um, but all the help I can get obviously is greatly received. Um, so yeah, I think I've taken up enough of your time on this Tuesday afternoon. That's uh, ten past six in the evening. Guys, take care. Thanks for your time, and see you all very very soon. Cheers now. Bye bye. As you can see, since my last video, I've actually managed to apply the uh, XF eighty one RAF dark green. It went on very very well. The masking, yeah, it turned out really good. There's a few issues where I just need to tidy it up. As you can see here, just on the cowling. That, uh, it's a wee bit sharp there, that green. So I'm just going to make the radius on that just a little bit um, less pronounced. Problem I have at the moment is I've run out of uh, ocean grey, so I've put an order in. So that'll be here shortly, so I can just tidy that up a little bit. But other than that, the rest of it turned out pretty, pretty good. Um, no real issues. I've, like I say, I've added the uh, the yellow to the lean edge of the wings. I've applied the uh, fuselage band at XF21, just masked that off and painted it. So, so no real issues. <laughs> I'm back to my, my old nemesis. Looking at photographs of Spitfires, I didn't realise there should have been a panel line across where I had my horrible scene. So I've reinstated that, so I'll just tidy that up a little bit. And also, where I applied the Mr. Surfacer underneath, you can actually still see it uh, very, very faintly. So I've got to um, tidy this a little bit anyway, so I'll spend five minutes and I'll just make sure that I'm 100% happy with that. So other than that, it's gone really, really well. My plan now is to tidy up the seams here on the horizontal stabilizers which i added uh, after i'd sprayed the main fuselage only because i find it a lot easier to apply the camo that way 
if you have the the horizontal stabs on the airplane whilst you're trying to mask the whole thing i just find it very very awkward so i added these after the event uh there was a wee seam there so i've added some mr surface 500 let that go off followed by mr surface 1200 just to really smooth out the gap i've let that go off i'll lightly stand that back do any touch-ups um, on either side then really i can give it a gloss coat and look at deckling it so that we are getting there now um, I've started working on, on all the ancillary parts like propeller, propeller hub, wheels, undercarriage, uh, the main canopy, which I'll, you'll see later on. So as it stands at the moment, it's actually going really, really well. Last night I painted the, uh, the nose cone, I did the blue and the red. Uh, the red I left for a good, I'd say six or seven hours before I masked off the blue. But I painted the blue and I left it for about an hour, came back and I stupidly picked it up with my bare fingers. I've managed to get a thumbprint on the uh, on the on the paintwork. I think you can just see it there. Uh, obviously, I can't live with that. Oh, there's another one there too. Uh, now I can't live with that. So yeah, it just goes to show that the temperature of the workshop does make a huge difference. When I painted the red, the temperature in here was about 17 degrees. Uh, when I came in last night to do it, I think it dropped about 13 to 14 degrees, and the humidity had increased somewhat, even though my heater's on. And um, yeah, I picked it up with ungular fingers and I managed to get a thumbprint in it. I felt it straight away as soon as I picked it up. Again, it's not the end of the world, like anything with modeling, it's all rectifiable. However, it just means a bit more work. So what I'll do to rectify it, I'll grab um, a very worn sanding stick and I'll lightly, lightly sand it back. Uh, and I'll, what I'll do, I'll redo the demarcation line between the red and the blue. So I'll, I'll cut some thin strips of uh, masking tape just to... Uh, to mask that area and then I'll sand it back like I say and then I'll apply the uh, the blue again and let it and this time I won't touch it until tomorrow really so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a pain but it's really not the end of the world so yeah just a bit of a lesson learned there if you are spray painting the temperature does make quite a difference so uh, yeah it's temperature and drying time so guys just be wary of that one because all you'll do is make more work for yourselves I've used my Infini cutting mat just to produce some two more lengths of masking tape that I've applied to the tips of each propeller. Uh, and then I'll go away and we're going to spray some XF69 rubber black from Tamiya just to replicate the, uh, the nice uh, rubber coating used on Doughty Rotol propellers that were on uh, Spitfires. I've also used some Humbrol Mask Gold fluid on the canopy, which I'll now, again, with the same XF69 that I'm going to spray the propeller, I'll go and spray the interior colour uh, rubber black and I'll give it a coating of the XF81, uh, which is the RF dark green. That'll be my final coat for the canopy. Then I'll give it a nice uh, satin varnish, and I think it'll look great on the model itself. As you can see, she received a gloss coat in preparation for decking slightly later on. The uh, gloss I've used is this one here. It's Mr. Color GX100 by Mr. Hobby. Um, this used in conjunction with, with Mr. Color leveling thinners. It's fantastic stuff. Um, about 18 psi on the old airbrush. I mixed it two to one with the uh, leveling thinners, two lots of leveling thinners to one lot of this, and it's gone on beautifully. This has just had one coat, and as you can see, the finish is absolutely well, it's stunning, really. I'm so happy with it, it's untrue. Um, I had a bit of a calamitous start to my session this afternoon, though. I've taken the afternoon off from work, uh, and I came, came in specially to start working on this and uh, I managed to drop her and in doing so I, uh, I dropped her and caught her between my knees and I broke off one of the wings and I broke off one of the horizontal stabs. Now I'm not going to tell you which is which because I actually think I've repaired them fairly well. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There you go, I'll just wave it around. But it's far far better than it was when I dropped it. I wasn't happy, I may have sworn a little bit if I'm honest. But anyway, she's not looking too bad. I've done the uh, propeller and the hub to show you that quickly. That's looking quite nice. Um, that was a bit of a chore to, to paint, if I'm honest, the actual demarcation between the red and the blue. And again, it's still not perfect, but it's not that bad either. Um, it's going in the right direction, so I'm quite chuffed with this now. Um, next time you see her, I'll be starting the Declan. As you can see, I'm further along in the build than I anticipated. In fact, I'm pretty much there, I'm pretty much finished. Um, it's been a really enjoyable build, I've got to be honest, but it's not been without its issues. The biggest problem I had, 
uh, with the deckling especially was the uh, was the nose deckle. Uh, what would have been this here? I, I struggled, like I say, for about half hour, 40 minutes trying to get the deckle on. I just couldn't do it. So I, in the end, I toyed with the idea of leaving it um, as it was. Couldn't live with that. So, so in the end, I masked it off and I painted it. Um, to mask it, I used 2mm um, vinyl tape from Tamiya. Great stuff. It worked really, really well. Um, I sprayed the yellow first, followed by the black, and it turned out really, really good. Um, far better, really, than I could ever really imagined. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Other problems I had with the kit, as you can see, I've broken off both of the uh, the cannons now, uh, and I've lost them. So I've had to email Airfix to try and get replacements. So that's another issue that I've had. Um, I broke the exhaust. You can see, actually looking at it, it's actually not actually seated correctly, but I managed to break the exhaust trying to fit it. Um, the rockets I, uh, weren't a big issue. I painted those as per some instructions that I found on Brit Modeler. Uh, so I've just got a, a light grey head with a olive, olive drab uh, warhead and a green body and a red tip. So they were fairly straightforward. The undercarriage, yeah, that was easy. Um, <laughs> that darn panel line underneath, that turned out fine in the end. Uh, the actual ID light, I don't know if you can see there, it's, um, I used some crystal clear to fill the gap because I totally forgot it was there and I I don't know why, I just missed out the uh, the bit of plastic that should should have sat in there. But no, but other than that, the rest of the kit itself has gone together fairly, fairly well. It looks like a, a Spitfire, especially a late mark Spitfire. Airfix has done a great job and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it actually as a kit. Um, but like I said, I'm annoyed with things like the Canon, which I made a mess off straight away pretty much. Um, but other than that, yeah, great kit, well done Airfix. And uh, here's my next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye.